Hi, I'm Catherine Long and I am the lead facilitator on the Masters in Coaching at Warwick uh, and also supervise some of our students on the course. The MA in Coaching is um, aimed at um, professional coaches who are already practising or internal coaches who are coaching within their own organisations. I think the kind of person that um, doing this Masters programme will appeal to is somebody who's fairly confident in their practice um, but is really seeking to expand their horizons and, and so that, that sense of expansion and deepening their own practice. Um, the way that we run the uh, Masters um, is very much based on action learning principles. So we are exploring themes and topics together, but people are then going out into um, following that up with their own research and their own practice and bringing that up. Um, the, the, the modules and, and the workshops um, are, are fairly fluid therefore in terms of what people want to look at and what they feel, what we feel as a, as a group, as a cohort we want to explore together. Doing a Masters um, is about really wanting to deepen your practice and your understanding um, to really develop your craft if you like as a coach. The entry requirements are that you are able to demonstrate that you have achieved um, a reasonable level of prior coach education um, so, and that may be through a qualification or you might be able to demonstrate something equivalent through experience um, and we also ask that people are actively coaching because the programme requires that you're reflecting on current practice which so you'll need to be uh, actively engaged in coaching in order to do the programme. We are holding a group size of between 12 and 16 um, students. The programme um, runs from October each year. It's a two year programme and we have monthly workshops um, throughout 11 months of the year, so we have August off. Um, and then in between that time, um, people are having support from a supervisor um, and su support from their action learning sets, as well as their own research um, and writing for the different assignments, project, and of course, finally, the dissertation. The modules that we cover um, are thematic and we start off looking at um, individuals' own practice of coaching. So what is it that informs and has shaped your practice to where it is now? Really helping uh, coaches on the programme to understand what's got them to where they are now. Um, in the second module we extend that and look beyond um, a current range of approaches and models in, and looking at some of the, the newer uh, approaches which are informing coaching practice. Um, we then move on to looking at organisational and ethical issues in coaching uh, before starting on a, a, a module that is a small scale um, uh, research project. So in the second year we're looking at um, different contexts for applying coaching, so looking at the adjacent um, practices that sit around about coaching and really understanding um, how coaching interfaces with other disciplines. The final content-based module is looking back to looking at ourselves again and really understanding um, the different dimensions that we're working in and operating in as coaches and that's finally followed by the dissertation um, which um, students choose their own research topic.